today we'll be using benchmarks to estimate. And we're going to do a quick review of our benchmark decimals, which is 0, 2500s, 500s, and 7500s. Because all numbers start with 0. To help you relate and remember benchmark decimals, you can relate it to money. 2500s related to 25 cents. 50 hundreds, you can relate it to 50 cents. And 75 hundreds, you can relate it to 75 cents if you relate it to money. Here we have 12 and 41 hundreds minus 6 and 47 hundreds. And if you notice that our benchmark decimals are to the hundreds place. So that's why in each problem, I have only focused on the hundreds. Now class, which benchmark is close to 41 hundreds? 50 hundreds. So we have 12 and 50 hundreds. And we're subtracting. Which benchmark decimal is close to 47 hundreds? 50 hundreds. So we have 6 and 50 hundreds. How many hundreds do we have? Zero. Zero. How many tenths? Zero. Zero. And then 12 ones minus 6 ones is 6. six. All right? Raise your hand if you have 6. <coughs> All right, good. Let's move to the second. Now, which benchmark decimal is close to 12 hundredths? Zero. Zero? All right. Z zero because 25 hundredths is 13 hundredths away, so it's closer to zero. So we're going to put eight and zero hundredths because no hundredths. All right, with 52 hundredths, which benchmark decimal is close to? 5200. 50 hundred. 50 hundred. And we're adding, so we put plus 5 and 50 hundreds. Don't forget we're adding, so if we add the hundreds, we get zero. If we add the tenths, we get five. If we add the ones, we get 13. Raise your hand if you got 13 and 50 hundreds. All right? But did this help? Yes. All right, let's move on to 9 and 75 hundreds minus 3 and 47 hundreds. Now, the 7,500 is already a, a benchmark. Good job. So, 7,500 is already a benchmark, so we keep 9 and 7,500 exactly like it is. Let's look at um, the second number, 3 and 4,700. Which benchmark is close to 4,700? 5,500. So, we got minus 3 and 5,500. We're subtracting, so... Five hundreds five. minus zero hundreds five. is five hundreds, and seven tenths minus five tenths is two tenths. Two tenths. Two tenths. Seven tenths minus five tenths is two tenths, and nine ones minus three ones is six. Six ones. Always say your place value. All right. So that is how we use benchmarks to estimate.